I just built this new entry table for my foyer and I want to find the perfect stain look before I put anything on this pine. Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and today we're going to be testing wood stain collar techniques to try to find the perfect medium brown look on pine. For this test, I started out by sanding this leftover piece of board with 100 grit, 120 grit, 150 grit, and 180 grit sandpaper. So make sure you spend enough time on each level of grit of the sandpaper to completely smooth it out to that grit before you moved on, move on to the next. If you're gonna be using a water-based stain, you can even go up to 220 after that 180 grit to get an even better sanding and better final look when you apply the stain. After all of that sanding, I used a tack cloth to clean all of the dust off of my board before I began any of the testing. Then I used painter's tape to section off my board into six different squares to do different tests in. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a close-up look at each square and explain exactly what I did to each one of them if you're trying to decide what you wanna to do to your pine wood project too. For this first square, I wanted to see what the Old Master's Gel stain that I have in Provincial would look like without anything underneath it. With this stain, you apply a nice layer of the stain and then you wipe away the excess and let it dry for the first coat. Be sure to follow any directions that you have on any of your containers though when you're doing any of these stain projects. All of the tests that I'm doing today are with stains and finishes that I already have in my garage, but I'm gonna be layering them in different ways to see which one gives the best results before I apply it to my new project. For the next three squares, I'm gonna start by applying Minwax's pre-stain wood conditioner. This will just help the wood stain or the gel finish that I apply soak in more evenly to that wood. Pine tends to get blotchy if it's not conditioned properly beforehand. So this will help you get more of a professional look with your wood stain colors. I let that wood conditioner soak in for 10 minutes before moving on to my next test. While I was waiting, I applied Watco's Danish oil in the color black walnut. So I wanted to test if this worked just as well as wood conditioner as the base for more stain layers to come. But I could tell right away that that darker Danish oil was soaking in and leaving blotchiness behind. So maybe if I had started with the natural Danish oil, the one that's untinted, it would have pr provided a better base. So at this point, the wood conditioner had soaked in for 10 minutes and I was ready to apply the next test. So on this one, I wanna see with that original gel stain from the first square, what it looks like when I've got wood conditioner applied to the pine before I use it. So this is the same provincial gel stain from Old Masters. I'm using a lint-free rag to wipe away the excess gel stain. And this has to sit for, I think, six to eight hours before you can apply another coat. I'll be adding on more layers, but at this point, I can tell that the gel stain works much better over wood conditioner. Next up, I applied Minwax's wood finish in special walnut over the wood conditioner. So this is a penetrating wood stain, so it's going to soak into the wood. The gel stain that I've been using sits on top of the wood. I'm picking all of these colors because they're a nice medium brown finish without too much yellow or too much red. I'm looking for a wood stain color on this pine that is a nice neutral color, but still has a rich deep finish. I applied special walnut to that next empty square too. I'm gonna to be layering more stuff on top of this square, but I wanna see how it looks with special walnut as the base. At this point, I had to wait six hours before I could do anything else. So I laid all of my rags flat out on the floor to prevent any fires from happening and let those dry out. After six hours, I'm back in the garage and I'm applying gel stain to five of the six squares. So the gel stain is not a penetrating stain. It can sit on top of other stain finishes. This gel stain is just gonna deepen and darken and add depth to the stain look on all of these squares. The only square that I didn't use the gel stain on was the one that had the special walnut wood finish. So that is the penetrating stain wood finish. I wanted to compare the penetrating stain next to um, all of the squares that have a gel stain layer to see which looks I like better. I did apply a second coat of that special walnut wood finish there because I wanted to see how dark I could get that look without adding anything else. At this point, all six of those squares needed more dry time, so I left it overnight. The next morning, I wasn't happy with that Danish oil look still, so I decided to grab another piece of pine wood, sand it to prep it for another test. So for this test, I used the wood conditioner, let it soak in for 10 minutes, and then applied that um, dark walnut Danish oil or black walnut Danish oil onto this board to see if wood conditioner helped Danish oil penetrate more evenly. In the end, the wood conditioner seemed to help the Danish oil a little bit, but that Danish oil, that dark colored Danish oil was still really blotchy on this board. And if you notice, this board that I'm using here is actually a select premium pine board. So it's a better quality wood than the other pine board that I'm using. 
So that would be helping it even a little bit more too, but I still see blotchiness. I'm not a fan. Then on one of the boards that I stained with Danish oil, I tried applying General Finishes Glaze Effects in Van Dyke Brown over one of the squares. And I don't know if that can is maybe a bit old. It's five or six years old. Or if the sun was accelerating the dry time or if I was just doing it completely wrong. But it before I could even wipe away the excess glaze within like 30 seconds, it was really tacky and hard to remove. So I removed the glaze effects as an option at this point for my test. Off camera, I applied another coat of gel stain to four of the squares. So let's go over the final looks here. This section is the wood conditioner with three coats of gel stain. I love the color of this square, but I will say with just the wood conditioner and the gel stain alone, you see a little bit of darker spots. I think it's grit left behind in certain sections of the wood, certain parts of the grain. When it's just wood finish alone, so this is the wood conditioner and wood finish alone, it's less marks from the sandpaper. So when I went over that wood conditioner and the wood stain with two coats of gel stain, which I did in this bottom square, you don't have those little black marks from the sandpaper as much. So I'm really liking the wood conditioner, wood finish, and then gel stain on top of that look as far as getting the most professional looking finish. Here's a close look at that square that is just three coats of gel stain over raw wood. So I did not use the wood conditioner on this one. As you can see, there is a little bit of blotchiness. There is uneven coverage with that gel stain. So it does soak into the drier parts of the wood in a way that makes it blotchy looking. But by far the blotchiest square is the one that I used the black walnut Danish oil on. Those darker pigments in that Danish oil soaked into the dry spots of the pine in a really ugly way. So I don't like this dark Danish oil on pine. I do love Danish oil on other projects, but not this one. And of course, this is the one that I messed up with the glaze effects. All right, now that you've seen all of these wood stain color techniques on this pine board, I hope that helps you decide what you want to do with your pine wood project. Let me know what your favorite look is in the comments below, whether it's one of the ones that I've tried here or what you're using at home. I'd love to hear from you guys what works best for you on pine and what colors you're going for, whether it's like a medium of brown on pine, a dark brown. I don't really like bare pine because I think it looks like the unfinished Ikea furniture, but let me know in the comments below. Once I've applied the finish to that table I showed you in the beginning, I'll make a short for it. So stick around, subscribe to the channel if you want to see how that turns out. All right, thanks guys.